Hello, my awesome second grade artist. Today we're gonna to be starting a new project and we're gonna be creating something really fun and unusual. So you may have never done this before and you're gonna learn something new. We are going to be creating these beautiful tissue paper cast designs. And so you see here, it's got lots of beautiful colors and texture. Texture is how something feels. And I'm gonna show you some different examples that I've done. I made a bunch of them because I enjoy doing this so much. So this is one, and here's another one. Colors all around. I love these beautiful bright colors. Here's another one. So in art, casting is when you use a mold to create your piece of artwork. In a minute, I'm going to show you what we're going to use as our mold, and we're gonna be using colored tissue paper with the mold to create these beautiful designs. Aren't these pretty? I cannot wait to see how these will look in our, our art show. So remember, we have an art show every year with students all across our district. And so some of the pieces get selected to be in the art show, and it's kind of like a gallery for all to show off all of the beautiful art that you made this year. An art gallery is just a place where artists showcase, showcase their artwork and people can go and look at it. So when we fix these up and put them on this nice brown paper, we are creating them for presentation in a gallery so that they will look nice to be hung somewhere. Sometimes our art for, from Lee County Schools hangs at the mall and sometimes it hangs at central office. And so we want to do really nice, neat artwork so that we can showcase it and people can see what a good job we've done. So to begin with, your teacher will um, be pulling some of you to come to the back in centers to make these. So teachers, what I would like you to do for the students who are not being pulled at the moment to make these is find an Art for Kids Hub video that you would like your, the rest of your class to work on, give them some drawing paper, and have them follow along with that. Um, they can put their names on it, and it can be turned in at the end of class, and they can continue working on it throughout this project. Because for this project, every student will have to come and create theirs in one session. They'll create it, and then the next day, you will before the kids come, you will peel them off, and then you'll reuse these molds. Okay, so you've got your art kids working on the Art for Kids Hub video, and then you're gonna pull some um, in a center to do this. So you will have a variety of these rubbing plates, and you let the children choose which one they want to use. You need to have a container, something like this, with glue, and we're gonna use foam brushes. And then I have some of this pre-cut tissue paper squares. So have something under your table, some old paper or something, because it's gonna get a little messy that in case students uh, drip glue, you can just rip it off and start a new one. So what you start out doing is you're gonna paint the area with glue using a foam brush. We're not gonna go all the way to the edges though. Um, I've just been like, this is a circular one. I've just been going to like the, around the edges of the circle. You can instruct students to do that. You see there's a square one here. I didn't go all the way to the edge. Um, I just got a good, um, the good pattern in the middle. And then I love how these rough edges look. These are called deckled edges, and it's just not perfect. It looks really interesting. All right, so let the students begin by just going in with their foam brushes. The foam brushes are good because they can really get down in those crevices. And I'm kind of pressing with my brush to make sure I get in there. Um, make one of these on your own before you have students come so that you'll kind of get a feel for what it's like doing this. And we're using regular tissue paper. We're not using bleeding tissue paper. That would make a big mess. You may, some of these colors will kind of bleed, but nothing like the bleeding tissue paper would do. And then the students just start adding tissue paper. There's really, you don't really have to have a rhyme or reason for how you do it. Like with color, it can just be whatever color, or they could do all cool colors. And the way I like to start is I start at the top, I put the tissue paper on, and then I use my foam brush. And you see how I'm kind of having to hold it down? You're gonna have to help them a little because this is gonna be new for them. And it'll kind of 
peel up a little bit and it may get um, wrinkled up. That's no big deal. It all really adds to the look of it in the end. So glue on that and I'm just gonna make another row now. And I overlap some of what I did before. You wanna do, use overlapping because it will create thickness in your end product and you need a little thickness so that when you go to peel it off, you, it's not super thin and it won't break. Okay, so you see there, my paper got kind of crumpled up. That's no big deal, I'm just gonna leave it. It's really wanting to pick up there. So I'm just kind of pushing that down. I'm using my fingers. Get some more over here. You may want to help them with picking it up and placing it because their fingers are going to get really yucky. The edges can just go however. They don't have to be perfect. I like that look in the end. You'll find that some of these more richer colors, like that blue, is trying to bleed a little bit. But if your brush just gets really um, too concentrated with color, your foam brush, and it's making your glue have color, you need to rinse it out. All right, that's our first layer. You're gonna do three layers. So teachers, if you want, you can let the kids do two layers and you can come back and put a layer on the very top if you're running out of time, but let them get a good feel for doing this. So I'm on my second layer now and those tissue paper pieces were big enough to where I didn't really have to put three, I could just put two big ones. Okay, I'm going to do this. All right, so you get the idea. That's two layers. I would now go back and do one more layer. So you need three layers for it to have a good thickness. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to sit these over to the side. You will have to have a way of labeling these also so you know whose is whose. So you can put them on a plate and have the name on it, or actually probably just a piece of paper would do better. Then that way, let's go with that idea. We'll put have a piece of paper, like a piece of drawing paper, we'll sit them on with the student's name. They will dry overnight. That's all they need to dry. All right, teachers, you will come back the next day um, before the students get there, because you're gonna have to reuse these molds as we go every day and you are going to gently peel this off. Now, um, you need to do this, the students it would have a really hard time, so you just have to kind of start bending the mold just a little bit. They will crack, so you don't wanna overdo it. You just have to gently go around working it to get it off. Um, if one of the tissue paper castings breaks, it's okay. When you go to glue it down, you can just fix it so it looks like it's not broken. That's the beauty of these. Right, so I'm just gently, and see three layers comes off easier than two. It's a little thicker, it's less likely to break, but I'm really keeping my fingers close in there so that doesn't happen. Okay, and then there is our finished design, okay? So teachers, you'll have their name on the paper and then you'll have some of this bumpy paper and you're just going to glue it onto that bumpy paper. And these make beautiful displays in your hallways. They almost look like stained glass. The colors are just beautiful. And that project is finished. You'll just make sure their name labels are attached to the back. Sometimes those name labels have a hard time adhering to this bumpy paper, so you may have to add some tape or glue to that. And then you'll just do those every day, letting every child have a turn. And meanwhile, your other children will be working on the Art for Kids Hub drawing. I cannot wait to see what these look like. I think your students are really gonna enjoy them. They're gonna add a lot of color to your room and displays in your school. And I will see you next time. Bye.